Hello YouTube. Today we are going to review the official Android 4.3 for Sony Xperia M. As you know, if you are a user of Xperia M, you have waited for a very long time for a major Android update, but now we are getting it. So now let's just jump in and take a look at it. Now, as you can see here now, the interface is changed like this, the lock screen. You got lock screen widgets right now. You could swipe it to the left, or you could add a new widget there. Swipe up to take it back again, and swipe to the left to quick launch to the camera and now the camera is changed like the experience C, the smart social camera it, so now it got auto scene recognition a manual mode time shift burst you could download this from the internet uh, originally it doesn't have that and also the background to focus and I'm happy to say that both of them works so you could try it out. So now we are in auto. In the auto it picks the best scene from here, like right here. If it is see there, it's a sport mode, and if it's dark, it becomes night mode and so and so forth. Now manual mode, you could fine-tune all of the settings like EV, the white balance the flash there or the front facing camera or the scenes chose quite a lot of it and there is HDR built in as well turn that off and so much more features here and also image stabilizer from, from my experience the old update, the image stabilization doesn't really work, but now in Android 4.3 it does work brilliantly. So thanks Sony for that. This is the video mode. You can toggle the flashlight. There we go. Got various settings, HD, VGA, QVGA, MMS, and so on and so forth. Right. So, oh yes, notification shape now is a little bit different following the Xperia Z family. The only difference that it doesn't have the description of every single um, toggles, it's just showing you the symbols. Let's go to the settings. Now, mostly the Android 4.3 does bring various enhancements like the looks of it, the looks of it is definitely changed and it is so smooth like the scrolling now is way smoother from the 4.1 Jelly Bean so let's take a look at that Android version 4.3 nice jelly there we go and oh yeah the build number for now is 15.4.8.0.23 so if you are Xperia M user and still on 4.1 updated because this is the update that you want but for now on it's still rolling out so you might have to wait for several countries before you can get it and also some animation has already changed like this it doesn't really rotates but it's rather like a smooth fading effect as you can see there but it's it is very neat it's very good and jumping into the home screen you could do that pinch to reveal the settings widgets got several widgets pretty much the same as the old one but well the clocks are definitely different looks very much nicer now apps 
as usual your apps wallpapers several new wallpapers like these there and themes you can get all of the themes there so it changes your themes like this one I'm on Xperia so it's blue if you are going to silk it becomes purple sunny it becomes orange and so on and so forth but unfortunately when I'm trying to download some of these things like the ones with triflat here I've already downloaded it but it doesn't want to install so that is some of the bugs that needs to be sorted as you can see here I have oh, yep try flat when you try to install this it will say application not installed so for a second so and here's another thing because Xperia M got quite a bluish screen you could download filter your screen and set it like this it will pretty much get rid of that nasty bluish thing screen installing and it says app not installed so that's definitely the bug that needs to be sorted by Sony or maybe it maybe it might not be um, supported it could be but well just pointing out so dialer now the seams becomes white as with the other apps contacts now you got like this got nicer animations right now messaging the keyboard has changed like at every other Sony 4.3 update definitely looks nicer looks a, a little bit bigger as well and the interface is definitely changed okay so going into core apps like arm and clock showing like this the work clock stopwatch as you can see there reset and timer okay another next thing is what is it oh yes Walkman the looks is now much simpler much nicer as you can see there playing it got nice effect there got a 3D effect going to pause and play like that still got notification there just slide it down to reveal more and pinch it again to make it smaller and when we lock the device the widget is there so you could change that as you can see there the effect is still there so it's definitely very very nice and this is the update that we've been waiting for and it is just smooth and the RAM management is very good let, let me take a look at that apps as you can see there I'm running quite a lot of stuff there still got that but now it might be not that much but it is much much smoother than the old 4.1 update power management 
got a revamp stamina mode the new one as with the other Xperia devices that got 4.3 and got that settings there Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and so, and so on so which is now this color scheme is now turning to white it's definitely nicer I really really like the change and so I'm going to take another core app it's like movies got the movies there just a very minor difference there but it's definitely really really nice okay so after a day of usage this is running like very very fast now unlike the old update and the battery life seems to be a little bit better the camera is definitely better and the overall look of it is much nicer oh yes recent apps I forgot to show this thing it is yeah it's really smooth going back and forth through apps this one This one. and another difference from 4.1 is that you could run multiple small apps like now I got this slider controls controlling the brightness directly from the small app and then maybe the calculator so as you can see here it is running two of them at the same time you could even add more, like the browser. So you could move it there, or you could minimize it by dragging it to the right most or to the bottom. Unfortunately, you can't really do it to the top and to the left. It's definitely a nice change that you could run multiple small apps. You could customize it here. You could add it from Play Store or widgets. Now it supports widgets as small apps, which is really handy if you are a multitasking kind of person. And I think that wraps up for this Android 4.3 update. So if you got Xperia M and still running the old one, you could download it via PC Companion your data will, will not be erased because it will retain all of your data and your apps and your configuration right here so that's it for now thank you for watching goodbye